Hey guys, I am going to do another JW video, um, XJW video. This is my JW Confessions number two. Um, leaving an organization, needless to say, is a very difficult thing. I mean, it's stressful, mentally stressful. When I left, I was completely devastated. And it's because, if you don't know, as a Jehovah's Witness, your whole life is centered around that. Everything else is built up on that. When that foundation was kicked from underneath me, everything else started to feel like it was falling apart. Um, luckily, I did have other, you know, another way. Of, I had ways of dealing with those things. But it was just as devastating as losing my mother. I was so devastated. Um, my family's in here. They're distracting. Get away. <laughs> they distracted me and I can't think. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but right after I left the organization, I started talking to others. I wanted to tell everyone about um, what the organization was doing, how they lied about this, how they changed this, and this is what's going on, this is the reality. They're not really God's chosen people. They're twisting the scriptures just like they say the, the Christendom does. And I want, and I did. I told people, and what I, the response I got was, from Jehovah's Witnesses, I got blocked. I am, um, I, they look at me as I was a disease, and they ran from me. I mean, literally ran away from me. People walk into a store, see me, and they walk out. Um, and those who were not witnesses that I, that may have gotten into the conversation, thought I was just really weird and didn't un truly understand because they really can't understand that how much being a Jehovah's Witness affects your life. It's from the child, from, for a, from a child. I'm a third generation witness. Well, I was a third generation witness. So from early childhood, I was taught not to associate with people. And even though I went to public schools, I never really associated with people. And note that association that, you know, the, you know, the people on the ground, most of those, it was just, it was for the benefit of trying to witness to them, okay, it was, you know, um, when I had jobs, I never really invited people into my life, uh, I had a job, one people, one job I had, people didn't even know that I had kids, <laughs> they were, they were like shocked that I had kids, like, what, <laughs> really? You know, because I don't invite my personal life. Um, I didn't include my personal life in with the job. They knew I was a Jehovah Witness. They knew about the Kingdom Hall. They knew about all of that. But they didn't know about the children and all that in my life because I didn't invite them. That was separate, and that was only to be shared with other witnesses and not people of the world. Um, but when I first left the organization, I spoke out. When I first got over the devastation and the crying and the depression, I wanted to speak out. But then I got to the point after I got such a negative response from people. It wasn't nobody, you know, like, why wow. I, I didn't run into anybody that was an extra witness. It was hard, you know. And those few people that I used to, that, that did run into, they was like, oh, yeah, I used to stay with them. Oh, it's not, you know, no big deal. And they truly didn't understand. So... Yeah, you used to study, but you weren't a baptized witness. You used to study, but you wasn't raised in this organization. You don't know how it is. You don't know the reality of it. So, I, I've gotten to the point where I'm now, where I do not truly speak out against them, um, about them or anything. And even when they're wrong, um, I just bite my tongue, and it's horrible, and I need to stop. I need to speak out against the atrocities and when people question the organization I need to question I need to be a voice and I don't want to just fade away silently and which is what I'm doing at this moment so for this year my one of my resolutions for this year is to speak up um, and not sit around quietly accepting you know the fact that it's over you know and deal with that a little bit more so I think that's it that's my confession my resolution
um, as far as that is. That's it for that one. I have a whole bunch. But I think I'm going to do a bunch of little short videos. Okay, bye guys.